And now, a Canadian moment. So what do you make of that Edmonton toddler who wandered outside and was frozen? Oh, great news. That kid's going to make a complete recovery. She was clinically dead two hours. Oh, yeah. I hear Joe Clark asked her if she wanted to join his party. <laughs> That she survived is a miracle. It's a miracle anyone can survive a winter in Edmonton. <laughs> can you imagine being frozen solid? I tell you, if home heating costs get any higher, we may find out. <laughs> Boy, that earthquake in Seattle was something, eh? They felt it all through B.C. Yeah, it was so severe, 25,000 people in Vancouver switched to decaf. <laughs> Oh, and that hoof and mouth disease scare in Britain is really getting serious. Well, how can you tell, Sam? Today they put Camilla Parker Bowles in quarantine. <laughs> Big NDP meeting last week. Alexa McDonough boasted, even though they did poorly in the last election, at least they didn't lose official party status. Well, what an accomplishment. That's like saying I only missed the 649 jackpot by five numbers. <laughs> You see, an Ontario court rule that the Métis people have constitutional right to hunt for food. Yeah, the Métis are so excited, they set up a hunting camp in the frozen meat section of Loblaws. <laughs> Here, Bill Clinton says he had no idea his brother-in-law was paid to lobby for pardons. you got to love American politics. You have an ex-president who is playing dumb. And you got the current president who just is playing dumb. <laughs> Celine Dion won the right to the internet website CelineDion.com Got it from an Alberta man who was running it as a fan site I heard the guy plans to open a new site UpYourCeline.com <laughs> <laughs> One's playing dumb and the other is just playing dumb oh, that's good. Well, Elvis Stoiko is all set to take part in the world figure skating competition Oh, there's nothing more manly than a man's figure skating. The majestic beauty of a triple lutz, the noble axle, the dazzling artistry displayed in tight-fitting day-glow jumpsuits, one man with perfectly coiffed hair competing against himself in an emotionally charged routine that expresses his raw physical talent in time to Nelly Furtado music. Or maybe I'll just watch the Leaf game, eh? Did you read that an asteroid crashed into Earth millions of years ago and killed 90% of all life? 90%? Just our luck. Kretchen's ancestors survived. <laughs> so the Mir space station is scheduled to crash to Earth this month. Oh, I just hope it lands where it'll do some good. Where? On that drunk Russian diplomat expelled from Canada. You got that right. You betcha. Tell me about oh, yeah. it. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. This has been a Canadian moment. Tell me about it. News. Stock market woes affect consumer spending. This is our most popular plaid print. It'll work nicely in any living room. No, it's not quite right. No. How about this tasteful floral? Hmm? Feel the quality. No, I'm not sure. We have this. It just came in today. Nortel stock. <laughs> A print of Nortel stock. No, it actually is Nortel stock. <laughs> Only two dollars the roll. Take it. And after this weekend, Monsieur Landry. This office of the Premier Minister of Quebec will finally be yours. Hey, back off! <laughs> it's not your office yet. <laughs> uh, Monsieur Landry, I have spent many long hours here. Most impressive, Monsieur Bouchard. Do not interrupt my reminiscing, you horrible little man. <laughs> yes, I have many happy memories as a politician. Losing the referendum, biker wars, Public service strike, economic problems, the bloc's poor showing last election. Come to think of it, I have no happy memories. That's why I'm quitting. 
I have always looked up to you, Monsieur Bouchard. Ah, that is because you are a short, sniveling, brown-nosing little person. <laughs> you would look up to a snake. I understand. This must be a difficult time for you now that you are on your last leg. What? Well, <laughs> of your career, uh, of your political career. It will be difficult for me stepping into retirement. Aside from my federal MP pension, my cabinet minister's pension, my MP opposition party leader pension, my conservative party pension, my provincial pension, my ambassador to France pension, my Quebec premier's pension, my Bloc Québécois party pension, and my Parti Québécois pension, I will have nothing to live on. <laughs> I still have one regret, my stupid little friend. I never achieved my goal of separation. But you did come very, very close. Do not touch me. I do not know where you have been. <laughs> Sometimes I wonder if stepping down is the right decision. Maybe I am being premature. Uh, no, 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 no. It is the right choice. Uh, well, you are correct, my pitiful little premier wannabe. The time is right for me to move on. It is a far, far better thing that I do than I have ever done before. God speed, Monsieur Bouchard. I have not finished. <laughs> it is a far, far better rest than I go to, than I have ever known. <sighs> I don't want to go. I like being leader. <sighs> I want to stay. I've got nothing better to do. <sighs> Control yourself, Lucien. Oh, yeah. Yes, I, I am all right now. I leave the party in your capable hands, Monsieur Landry. You are the right man for the job. As leader of the Parti Québécois, you will have a long and successful career. You really think so, Monsieur Bouchard? No, I give you six months. Stop. <laughs> <laughs> Report on Business presents Today's Stock Market with Marion Cranberry. Hello, Marion Cranberry isn't here today. She's filing for bankruptcy. <laughs> I'm Salvador Larry with today's stock market. As you can see, the Dow Jones, NASDAQ, and TSE continue their climb into positive ground today. But that may change, as U.S. Federal Reserve Board Chairman Alan Greenspan is about to make a live speech. It's been said that when Alan Greenspan coughs, the markets wet their pants. <laughs> no profile shots. No profile shots. Today, I'd like to fill you in on the state of the American economy. Be assured, we are never bored at the Federal Reserve Board. <laughs> That's a little humor for you auditors out there. <laughs> the U.S. economy is strong, motivated primarily by blue-chip stocks like AT&T and Shell Oil. But let's not forget Nortel. I know some of you might like to. <laughs> That's another one for the auditors. I am thinking about lower interest rates because I am tired of paying so much interest on my Stairmaster. Fifteen minutes a day and now I have the body of a 20-year-old. <laughs> I'm okay. Our gold reserve is full, our energy reserves are strong, and Temptation Island is finally over. <laughs> I'll bet I could have tempted those bodacious babes, <laughs> be, that, be that as it may. In the upcoming year, America must cope with a president who is two gallons short of a fill-up. <laughs> but he is Republican. In addition, there is a possibility of war in the Middle East. Our debt load will continue to increase, but most important, I am confident our financial system will thrive as long as we can count on the strong economy of our major trading partner to the north, Canada. <laughs> so remember, America, there's no need to fear. Alan Greenspan is here. No we now join the program in progress, the Antiques Roadshow. And I would say that at an auction, this would fetch between fifteen and twenty thousand dollars. 
Yes. <laughs> Thank you so much. Next. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Mike from Canmore. <laughs> what is this? It's a vase from Mr. Zawicki's cow shed. <laughs> it smells like it. No, no, that, that's not the vase, that's me. <laughs> My new aftershave is called Cowboy. <laughs> it's so you can sneak up on cows without them noticing. <laughs> That's absolutely imbecilic. Oh, I'm glad you like it. <laughs> what was it used for? Oh, lots of things, like we used to use it for scooping out the septic tank. <laughs> then I figured I could use it to stand up umbrellas in, but that didn't work until this guy told me the secret. you got to fold the umbrella first, then it slides in. <laughs> then Mr. Zwicky started using it. As what? I don't like to say on TV. Let me just say, he could hit it from 15 feet. Good Lord. I say, could you arrange an introduction to this, Mr. Zwicky? Spitting. Oh, oh. <clears throat> <clears throat> oh. Well, I'm sorry, but you've wasted your time coming here. What made you think this was worth anything? Well, a guy wanted to buy it. Oh. Was he an antiquarian? No, Chinese. <laughs> well, let me just check. Hmm. Good Lord. The long-lost vase of Emperor Kai Tang Wak in the 12th century. <laughs> what did he use it for? Oddly enough, as a spittoon. <laughs> I would say this is worth well over $120,000. Oh, wow. Now we can afford to put the outhouses on rollers and bring them indoors. <laughs> Oh, oh, do be careful. Oh, be careful. Oh. 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 Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> hmm. Now, what can you say to make people believe such a thing happened? I might from Camborne. <laughs> CBC Morning with Nancy Wilson, because she's the only one who'll get up this early. In other news, the free internet music provider Napster is fighting a court ruling that will close it down. Here to discuss the ramifications is an expert on the music industry, Rolling Stones guitarist Keith Richards. <laughs> oh. What day is it? Well, Mr. Richards, what do you think of the Napster situation? I'm not allowed to drive. <laughs> I have a chauffeur now, lovely looking bird, Amber, takes me for a ride every morning. Later, we go out in the car. <laughs> it's it's a, a bloody good... <laughs> arrangement. Well, right now, Napster does not pay royalties for downloaded music. Uh, blimey, it's just not on, mate. Napster, it's a real load of crap stuff. <laughs> don't believe people should be allowed to download music for free. Music is universal. In fact, I wrote a tune about it. <laughs> as far as I got. <laughs> there are a lot of musicians who have publicly denounced Napster. Who are we talking, love? Tony Braxton. Had her. Alanis Morissette. Had her. Faith Hill. Had her. Britney Spears. Need her. The Dixie Chicks. Had her. Jennifer Lopez. Need her. Melissa Etheridge. Pass. Now, Mr. Richard.
Richard, should royalties be paid by internet companies like Napster? Well, what's a few bucks in royalties when you're worth 200 million <laughs> quid? <laughs> Nancy, that's, that's a nice name. <laughs> Nancy, the girl that I fancy, how nice to get into your pants. Yeah, well, that, that's quite enough. <laughs> so, if I read you correctly, you see free music via the Internet as a fact of life in 2001. 2001? <laughs> Bloody hell, what happened to the 80s? Record companies have the right to shut down Napster? Well, Nancy, what I'm trying to say in my own drunken stupor is that music is important. It's what keeps me young, but it never should be taken for... <laughs> granted. The final words, Mr. Richards? Kids, never take cocaine. <laughs> There's not enough to go around as it is. <laughs> oh, sometimes I really don't understand my wife. I give her a good time. I take her out to dinner at a fancy restaurant on our silver anniversary, and she said, you call this a fancy restaurant? And I said, shut up and eat the bowl. Makes you wonder. See, John Cleghorn resigned as the head of the Royal Bank because he wants to learn how to play the banjo. <laughs> Bet there ain't a bank customer who ain't saying, why not? He's been plucking me long enough. <laughs> I just hope when Cleghorn gets his severance check, he's got a waiting line for an hour. The wicket closes just as he gets there, and they tell him it's going to take a week for the check to clear. Have a nice day. <laughs> yeah. You see? The Europeans are cleaning us out of horse meat to replace beef, and some of them are racehorses. Must be tough going straight from the six at Woodbine to a sausage in Munich. <laughs> you know what gets me this politically correct horse plop? In Scotland, they're thinking up a new word instead of firefighters because it's too aggressive. No kidding. What are they going to call them? Flame wetting operatives? <laughs> Or does that have the implication they ain't using a hose? <laughs> what are we going to call a weed whacker? A horticultural spanker? <laughs> what are we going to call a miracle whip? A dairy spread with sadomasochistic tendencies? <laughs> Battered fish, pugilistically challenged gill breathers. <laughs> I mean, you can't say manic depressive anymore. It's bipolar. <laughs> bipolar. I thought that was an Arctic bear who swung both ways. <laughs> you see, Bernard Landry, the man who'll be Quebec's next premier, he's been given a provincial grant to, wait for it, a school for clowns. <laughs> Mind you, say this for him, he ain't feathering his own nest. He don't need to go to a school for clowns, he's already qualified. <laughs> The Record, sports talk show filler, because International Darts Highlights is unavailable. Hello, I'm Michael Landsberg, and I'm as handsome as ever. <laughs> Welcome to OTR, Off the Record, where we invite celebrities to talk about sports. This week, our favorite former heavyweight boxer, Jimmy No Neck Kobasa. Hi, Michael. I'm a heavy former weight boxer, but I'm okay now. Also with us is legendary movie actress Elizabeth Taylor. I want to thank the Academy for this wonderful snack. It's really the little people who deserve the applause. Is there any coleslaw? Okay, hockey. Playoffs, final 16. Who do you like? No neck. 
Well, Michael, it's not so much the size of your opponent that matters, but his glove speed. <laughs> Topic is hockey playoffs. Oh. Yikes! <laughs> Who are you? Your next wife. <laughs> Elizabeth Taylor, basketball, one-on-one -on -one with the Grizzlies. Are they on the move? What on earth are you talking about? I guess basketball is not a woman's sport. If you're talking about the viability of the franchise remaining in Vancouver, you have to maximize the fan base by providing an on-court product that can generate turnovers, such as a zone defense, but it won't happen without a power guard and an outside three-point shooter. Now pass the ketchup. <laughs> No, Nick. Well, Michael. Yikes! <laughs> Have we met? Didn't you used to be Joan Collins? <laughs> Baseball. Spring training has started. The highest paid player is A-Rod, who signed for $250 million. <laughs> I wouldn't pay $250 million for any rod. <laughs> That's it. We're off the record. I'm Michael Landsberg. Still handsome after all the years.